Cinco de Mayo today marks a Mexican military victory against the French in the city of Puebla back in 1862. But the day has now become a bigger event here in the U.S. as a time to celebrate the heritage of Mexican Americans. So we decided to take advantage of the chance to look at Utah's history as part of Mexico. Here's Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth. When Brigham Young declared the Salt Lake Valley the place in 1847, the people with an official claim to the place would have understood El Lugar better, even if they laughed at a horrible pronunciation. Until the end of the Mexican-American War in 1848, this was the map of Mexico. See the Great Salt Lake up north? 1776 is a big year in Utah history because of a couple of Franciscan friars, Fathers Dominguez and Escalante. They became the first Europeans to record an exploration of the state. Utah's capital rotunda includes a painting of their expedition at Utah Lake. They called it Lago de Timpanogos in this map drawn by their cartographer. And can we all agree it's weird to show one man showing another his home and then saying the new guy discovered it? Dominguez and Escalante preceded what would become a steady stream of Mexicans and foreigners traveling on the old Spanish trail from Santa Fe to L.A. The name, by the way, was always wrong. Mexico was not a part of Spain when the trail was established. That was new, new guys making new mistakes. The northern route was the safest and most common, and it formed an arc through Utah from the southeast to southwest corners. It was southern Utah's canyons that forced them so far north. On a modern map, the trail went north of Monticello on its way to Moab and Green River. It looped around the San Rafael Swell in Emory County and turned south of Castledale to Richfield by way of our Interstate 70. Another turn south to Parowan and Gunlock, leaving Utah by the high country route we call Old Highway 91. These days, there's that snobby term, flyover country, used for inland states like Utah. Well, when Utah was in Mexico, it was something similar. You could call it right over country between Santa Fe and L.A. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.